Hey, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here. And for today's video, I just wanted to talk about how you guys can get yourselves a bunch of crystals and meta matter. I've been getting requested a lot of different videos and I want to try to tackle those one at a time just so I can get through everything. So for this video in particular, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do a crystal guide. My last crystal guide and meta matter one was part of an event and you can't really do that anymore unless that event comes back but I don't know if it's going to be the same so I'm going to make this video and hopefully it helps out you guys that are new to the game I know a bunch of you want to see like more advice on like uh, I don't know end game or mid game type uh content but I'll do my best to get to that as soon as I can as well but for now let's get on to the point of this video so you're going to spawn here if you go to the geode sanctuary this is where you want to go so first things first you want to start with the quest line just go to your adventures it's b for me but it might be i for you to open this up but pretty much just go here and then adventures and it's going to pop up here so you go to quests and you want to get your geode stuff done so do whatever the quest tells you it's just going to tell you exactly what you need to do it'll help you get started it'll help you get a little bit of mastery and you can get some of your modules and get started with all of that and the main things you want to know is the egg stuff is over there if if you you need it it's you just you know, the green portal faces that way and then the blue portal faces this way for the uh, christology bench you're gonna need a bunch of meta matter if you want to craft a bunch of these things there is meta matter here that you can craft and the further you go in this it's cheaper to craft but i don't really recommend doing this unless you have a bunch of resources to burn this is like not recommended at all and if you can get your hands on the tome i highly highly recommend that because you can just get your meta matter stuff naturally like this it's only four a week but you know, it's better than getting zero, so you might as well just go for this. It also does take 10 meta matter to craft, which is really annoying, but in the long run, obviously, this tome will help you out a lot here. And if you don't already know, you need meta matter to max out your gear. I'm pretty sure in the future they're gonna upgrade this stellar stuff to crystal, but at the time of me recording this, this is max right now. So just in case you weren't sure, meta matter is for this. Crystals you also need for this, but you need a bunch of crystals for everything in here. Like you need a bunch of it. So now let's go into the other thing. So this is where you spawn. You want to go up one level, so you can either just take that over there, or you can just jump up here. And you want to go towards the direction where I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's like a little, it's on the top floor you, you won't miss it and this is going to be all of your reliquary stuff so you want to talk to this guy and pick up a bunch of these as you can what you want to do is you craft this it takes 4,000 crystals and you have to charge this up in the geode caves so you want to go down into the caves i prefer going through the purple one but that's just me you can go through the other ones if you want to i personally just like this purple one all you have to do is just mine stuff collect crystals collect resources fill up the bar and you can just pick up one of these quests if you want to. You might as well because it does give you a bunch of XP and you can do five of these a day. And it also gives you a little bit of adventuring, but you're mainly here for the XP. But anyway, come here, fill up your reliquary. Once you're all done, you want to go all the way back to the top. So once you're all done, you want to come back, go to the reliquary thing and just put it in. You're going to have one spot unlocked here and you can get unlockers later. But the main thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is just crystals and meta matter. So you just put your reliquary in here. I don't have one at the moment, but if I did, I would just right click and put it in here or just drag it in. It is timed. I think you have to wait two hours. So you can just use an accelerate if you have one of those or a bunch of those. And if not, then that's fine. You just have to wait. And the other thing I'm going to let you guys know right now is if you use a load star, you get guaranteed meta matter. If we just hover over this, you have a chance of getting either tier four or tier five resources here. And it also says an uncommon chance for multiple meta matter. But if you do use that load star, you get 100% guaranteed meta matter. So that's if you want to go ahead and craft one of those these other ones do it too but it's like it's, it's a chance of giving it to you whereas if you just use a load star you can just get guaranteed meta matter here i think it was like three or four up to five it was like a random amount i can't remember the exact amount it might be two two anywhere from two to five pretty much it's not like a lot of meta matter but it's at least something and if you have the crystals you can obviously just get a bunch of these and then try to get yourselves a bunch of load stars and if you don't have load stars then that's fine as well just you're, you're gonna have to get more of these and that's pretty much the loop that you're gonna be going with to try to get these meta matters and then obviously just do your tomes every week meta matter tome is there you get four a week and that's pretty much it for that so if you want to get some crystals all you have to do is craft these things here there's some critter treats and then the blanket and then the curing kit do whatever these companions want you to do so just give them that and this is going to be how you get yourself some crystals it's not going to be a lot but at least it's something so while you're exploring the geode caves and if you go in any direction you'll end up in a situation like this where you see a little sign here with a little entrance over here. If you go through these, there's a chance that you can actually get yourselves a little layer, and that layer has a chance to spawn yourselves some crystals. And not just some, it's a lot of crystals. And if you have the vacuum, you can kind of just you know get all of the crystals there. Or if you have the vacuum in general, you can kind of just do this and then just gather all of the resources like that. 
and as you can see there's a bunch of crystals and i got kind of lucky i'm in tier one right now and as you can see this is what a crystal layer looks like this is just part of it and you can just go ahead and collect like as many as you can you don't have to get every single one but in, if you have the vacuum it just makes that a lot easier you get a bunch of it and as you can see i got like 400 from that so it is super handy especially mondays make use of your mondays because that is uh crystal day as well so you're just gonna get more crystals so do stuff with the cave critters there. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get a layer like that. Your layer might have something else, but just know that there's a chance that that could happen. If you want to know where to craft it, when you spawn here at the Geode Sanctuary, just go by the blue portal and just come all the way back here at the Crystallogy Bench. So you have Critter Treats, the Curing Kit, and the Comfort Blanket. But this is for the basic one. Uh, you want to go as far as you can. So the Geode Mancer one. And you can get, it's a lot better of a deal the further down you go here. The deals that you get up there are a little bit worse. So you get 100 here for a little bit. But these resources here, it's a little bit compared to, you know, what you got going on here. You get 5, whereas over here you get 100. Another thing to note is you can get this plus 50 crystal gathering potion. It does require some metamatter and other resources, but it's another option as well. So you can put this on and you can go ahead and if you find a crystal layer, you can just... You know use that with your vacuum or whatever but the method that i like to use with this is if you can get yourself some crystal pins so don't get the crystal pinatas mixed up with the mounts over here but you can actually buy these and the more you get the more you know crystals you can get obviously and if you use that gathering potion that helps out a lot they're kind of expensive these things used to be like 8 to 10k each back when i first started playing they're a little bit expensive now but pretty much just throw on this potion here and throw those pins down if you throw down like 200 of those pins with that potion you can get a lot of crystals and i mean like maybe 100 to 200 thousand those are just estimates but just to give you guys like an idea and yeah apart from that there's other ways you can get crystals and metamatter like i know events sometimes help like my previous video there's an event that literally helped you get a bunch of crystals and a bunch of metamatter i know you can loot collect your uh, companion eggs like if you hatch your egg you can loot collect your companion so if we go over i think it was this one yeah it's this one so the rare ones the loot collect into 10,000 crystals i believe you're supposed to level up the uncommons twice or three times and then you loot it i'm not 100 percent certain on that which is why i don't really do this method but just know that this is an option as well so if you have a bunch of duplicates you can just loot it here so this was the one from the event that i was talking about and you can get a bunch of these i wouldn't get rid of your drill bit you do need this for mastery stuff so don't get rid of this but if you have like duplicates you can just collect it and then just get yourself some crystals with that other methods i believe it was either the frosties or the skelly boxes you can get metamatter from those but it was like a rare chance of getting them and yeah like little things like that you're able to get metamatter or crystals from but apart from that i covered like the basics and hopefully you guys have like a little bit of an understanding of what to do now and yeah if you think i missed something drop it down in the comments down below i'm pretty sure i covered everything but i'm sure that you guys will point something out here and yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and on that note i will see you all later